Good day, this is Professor Ken Top. I am walking you through how to connect to a remote virtual system using remote desktop in Google Chrome browser. The first thing you want to do is open Google Chrome browser and if you haven't installed it you're going to want to go to the Google website search for Chrome browser download and install it on your system. You're also likely going to want to do this on a laptop or a PC. On a mobile device this doesn't work too well. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to log out of your Google account and you're going to click continue and then sign in to the Google account. You're going to say use another account and then you're going to enter the Google, the Gmail account that's provided to you or the myuvi.net account that's provided to you. Um, And at this point, you're going to want to enter uh, your, your password, the one that was provided to you for this login also. And I want you to notice that the password that was already in there was cached from the other login, so you're going to want to intentionally type it in. Now that you're logged in, you should see the icon up here has changed. And you should notice uh, a remote desktop link. But if you don't notice the remote desktop link, all you have to do is go to the address line and type in remote desktop.google.com. And a blue screen will appear. If the system you are supposed to log into does not appear or it's offline, you need to contact the instructor promptly in a format of records so that uh, they're aware and you've covered yourself about access issues. It's best to take a screenshot. So you need to take a screenshot hitting the PRTSC key and include that with your notification. Now, in this case, Banshee is the test system that we're using. It'll prompt you for a PIN code. You're also going to enter the PIN code that you were provided if you make a mistake or it says it's not good, just try it again and slow down. It's common for online connections to get screwed up. And you'll notice there's a little, a little link here that comes out that says um, you can move that by grabbing the left side and sliding it out of the way. There is an access panel on the right side. And it allows you to go full screen, which is what you should do most of the time, and press Control alt delete on the remote system. Notice that if you use press print screen, it will enter the PRTSC keystroke into the remote system and not on your own system. So if you want to capture the screen, uh, you're not going to, and then capture that to your local system, you're not going to want to use this system. If instead on the remote system, you open up a Word document or paint, inside the remote system and want to capture that screen on the remote system, you can use that option. Um, if I go full screen and then I press Control alt delete if I immediately start typing it won't work. I have to collapse the panel, click into the into the uh, login option, and then enter the password from there. Once again if I press PRTSC the key on my own local keyboard, it's going to capture an image of the screen that I can then paste into another, uh, another document. I'll show you that in a minute. Now I'm going to log in and I want to show you how to gracefully disconnect because that's also important. So at this point, uh, let's see. Well, you'd have to know the password for the login also. Once again, sometimes there's lags in the screen. So let's pretend that I wanted to capture uh, this screen. 
if I used this option, I would be changing the active memory of the remote system, and then I'd have to find an application on the remote system to capture the screen. That's not desirable in certain situations. Um, in some forensic situations or in troubleshooting scenarios, you don't always want to uh, add extra overhead to the uh, system you're accessing. But if I go ahead and print, if I press the print PRTSC key locally on my own keyboard, that's going to capture this image. And then I just have to get out of the full screen by hitting this X in the front center or hitting here and then navigating into a window and then pasting. And there's our screen from the capture previously. Now, um, in order to in order to leave, in some cases you may be instructed to simply enter a control alt delete. I'm going to go back to to screen mode, full screen mode again. In some cases, if you're supposed to log out, uh, then what you'd want to do is <clears throat> click on the start menu and then go to the sign out option. In other cases, you may be instructed to restart the system or shut down the system, but in most cases, you simply sign out. <clears throat> In rare conditions, such as forensic scenarios, you may be asked to leave the screen the way you found it. You can minimize and you can uh, change the view of what's active by clicking on the taskbar. Just remember how, how you found it. So when you go back, you can restore the screen the way you found it. Um, I don't think MicroTorrent was open, so I'm going to close that. That's how we found it. What you want to do now is press Control-Alt-Delete and then lock the screen. If the screen was locked when you entered the system, lock the screen back. If you had to sign in to enter the system, sign out. If you had to power on a system, uh, then power it down. It's that simple. Whatever state you had to do to enter the system, you want to use the same option to exit. At this point, what we're going to do is disconnect. So you don't want to close the window before you disconnect. And now you can go ahead, press escape to enter the full screen and close your local browser. Now, this goes without saying, but you're going to want to sign out by scrolling down once you click this option. If you don't see it right away, scroll down and sign out. And that way, when you sign back into your own Google account, everything will be where you left it. If you continue in Chrome and go to Gmail, you may find that it's not your Gmail account, and that's because, well, you used another Google account, you're still logged in. So be sure to sign out and sign back into your own account. This concludes uh, our walkthrough of how to use Google Chrome Remote Desktop to get into and onto and out of remote systems. Thank you. Good day.